Attorney General Jennings, thank you so much for joining me today. How would you define the rule of law so that youth can understand it? First of all, thank you, Raj, for taking an interest in the rule of law and the role of attorneys general. I would define the rule of law as my obligation to follow and enforce the laws of our state. We do not have the privilege to choose what those laws are or uh, how uh, they are applied by the legislature, passed by the legislature, but we do have discretion and so there's an intersection of the rule of law, which is respect the law as it exists, and there's discretion that prosecutors typically have in their office as to how to apply that to a given set of facts and needs. We also have the ability as attorneys general if we believe that the law should be changed and that it would be to the benefit of the people of our states to change the law, to advocate for those changes in the legislature. What inspired you to become an attorney? Two things primarily have inspired me to run for office for the first time in 2018. I, um, throughout my career, have been a prosecutor, I've been a defense attorney, and uh, worked in private practice for over 16 years. As a result of all of those experiences, what I have come to believe passionately is that people in my state deserve to be safe in their homes, in their communities, to lead a good quality of life, and to be able to raise their families without fear of crime, uh, most particularly violent crime. As a consequence of, of those really heartfelt beliefs, I ran for Attorney General to make sure that people are safe, that our justice system is fair and equal to everyone, regardless of the color of our skin, the size of our wallet, or the zip code where we live. And lastly, how can youth stay safe on the internet and social media today with technology? The biggest challenge with technology and social media is um, how do we protect our children? If you're an adult, you can pretty much take care of yourself, although we can talk about threats and uh, the rise in hate against people in this country that is a deep concern to me. I am primarily focused on the effect of social media on our children because what we have seen arising out of the use of social media, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, you name it, children are spending more and more time on those sites algorithms are designed to have them spend more and more time. Often what happens is that children don't feel that they're living up to some model that they see on the internet or that their friends aren't liking them enough or uh, responding enough and it leads to more and more interaction uh, that can ultimately cause anxiety and depression in children. So it's up to us as attorneys general combat that. In terms of adults, what I see as the value of the internet is that you can get an answer <laughs> pretty much right away when you ask the right question uh, on search engines. That's phenomenal because if you had to rely on books, it takes a lot longer to get that answer. There are so many values and good things that have come out of the internet. It enables us all to communicate around the world in ways that we the dangers are that people can feel emboldened to act out aggressively toward others, whether it's because they have prejudices, whether they have anger, whatever it is, the rise in hate over the internet is extremely alarming. It enables people of similar to connect, to organize, look what just happened in Germany. And that's dangerous because it is a threat to individuals who are uh, victimized by hate crimes.
and it's a grave threat to our very democracy if we don't guard against it. Thank you so much for this interview.